in the past few months since I did my Drupal series, I've been getting an awful lot of questions about Drupal and people wanting help. I haven't been able to answer them because I haven't had a functioning Drupal site because I, I got rid of the um, site that was my test site for uh, um, the previous screencast because Drupal was kind of getting a bit long in the tooth and uh, I wanted to show you some other stuff rather than just showing you constant Drupal. So I'm bringing back the Drupal videos but in, in the next few Drupal videos we're going to integrate our existing knowledge to build some awesome stuff um, that we uh, that we've learnt to build um, the past few months and build it into Drupal um, so we need Drupal site today I'm just going to a really example of that simple example of that because we've been doing um, because we've been doing jQuery and Drupal core has the latest jQuery included as part of core because you'll notice that in in views the views module controlling screens and other modules there's a lot of jQuery so uh, jQuery is automatically included in Drupal core so it makes it really easy to to marry them both together um, and create some awesome technology so today we're going to show a really simple example of that um, on my demo site here. Now, the first thing to note is, I'm sorry I haven't done any videos for ages, and ages being five days, but that is ages for me really, because I'm I'm really excited about getting something new that is actually really small, so I don't know why I'm so excited, but it should be coming in the next few weeks. So. I can't, I can't wait for that. Uh, and as per, Jack will be helping me with the unboxing, and I'll, I'll um, take you through that. So today in our first video, we're we're gonna talk about si simple in integration integration with the jQuery library to Drupal. Now the great thing, uh, as Drupal supports jQuery by default. We don't even need to download jQuery and include any extra stuff on our page. I've got, so let's just dive into that. I've got my default um, Drupal installation here and it's just a really default installation. I'm using Garland theme which is important to note because it's a core theme now. We're going to be adding some stuff to the theme, and that's generally really bad for upgrading and things like that. So we're using a core theme. If you're going to do any customization like that, core themes are just for um middle of, middle of the road stuff. So we're going to add some stuff to this core theme to make this all work. Um, this is generally bad for upgrading and things like that. But this is a test demo site, so I shouldn't need to do a whole lot of that. I, I'm just going to quickly um, firebug, as they say, the I'm I'm gonna edit. Or look at the HTML document as a whole, and in this, especially as it's a core theme, um, Firebug is an essential tool for Windows, Mac, or Linux to work in the Fire uh, Fire Fox browser to allow you to inspect what each of this stuff is because um, gonna need it. Believe me. Um, because you don't know what the IDs classes are to reference in your jQuery. So we see that we have a whole bunch of CSS files included and um, linked to CSS files 
And these are the ones for all your modules. It's not just your style.css. We've got menu.css which controls how the menu looks. But that's not really what this video is about. Um, it's about jQuery. So the important thing to note here is that we don't see any script jQuery includes. J uh, Drupal is really smart with that. And it only it only includes jQuery when it needs to do. So you d you don't actually include jQuery manually somewhere out of the um J jQuery thing. You can include it dynamically so Drupal only loads it when it needs to. So let me just show you how to do that. And for this video I'm I'm assuming that you're using Drupal six because um this method works in Drupal six. Yeah, I'm using Garland here, and there's a whole bunch of rubbish, some of which I don't even recognize. There's a whole bunch of wrapping divs that we we don't really need, but we're not we're not here to mess with that now. What what we want to um realize is that it we have these two two variables, styles and scripts. Now um scripts includes all the JavaScript files we need for our page. Um just as a and head includes all all the all all the meta information. So this is a quick test. Let's break our Drupal site and remove this this st styles and save it. We go over to the page and refresh, and we look in our head section. We see we only got the core things that are um, printed by the head variable, and no styling for our menus or anything like that. And um, so that's why you need um, those two variables. So I'm just gonna add them back in, but it's. Imp it's important that you have those variables in your theme, but all themes that are half decent will have those. All themes that aren't broken will have those. Um, so you can choose which order you print your style sheets and which order you print your scripts. I generally um think it's better to print your script uh your scripts after your style sheets so that they load before your scripts load. Some people believe that it's good to load um down here in the footer just before the closer. And the reason why some people think that is is because it, then it doesn't rely on your page loading to load jQuery, but as as jQuery is actually part of the system, we shouldn't have much of the problem. So I I just I just put it in the head section, but you can actually load this as you can actually load jQuery on a normal site from anywhere on the page. Um so we're gonna print our styles which should reinsert all those style sheets and then we're gonna print Our scripts. Um, and then if we refresh, everything's back to how it was. Now, 
as a general rule of thumb, don't don't do it on a production site because some Drupal things need the, the scripts variable and the styles variable to be printed to actually function at all. So you will break your Drupal site if you move those, but um, but that was just a little exercise to show you and now you see all our beloved style sheets are back. Um, but we haven't actually written any jQuery yet, and that was the whole idea of this video. But first, I just wanted you to get an idea of how it all works and how it actually pulls that in. Um, how do we write our jQuery? Then we don't write it in the head section of our page drop tbl.php we can uh, we write it in a script.js file in our theme and that's all we need to do it will actually recognize that as it recognizes style.css now like I said about adding to core themes that's what I've just done but it's again it's only for testing purposes so, as it's at the head section of the, do the document, and not in the footer, as, as some people recommend, if jQuery is in the footer, then you don't need the document dot ready, because you know that the document is going to be ready when it when it gets when it gets to that point in the markup. But our scripts will always be printed in the header, so we need the document dot ready. And I'm just going to use a short hand for this. So we can just say when the page loads, then do a function. And what that function is going to be. Is and this is why you need Firebug. We're gonna uh, first of all when the page loads, we're gonna grab the header. And I, I'm actually gonna grab the ID on the block level element because that's just the way I roll. So we grab the ID of logo floater. I'm going to hide it. So provided a hickory works, as soon as you um, load this, you won't see it. Um, I'm just going to write a nice little selector around that. Say hide and that will hide as soon as the page is loaded. I'm not going to give it any extra stuff, any parameters because I want to do it as soon as the page is loaded. So if I save that and refresh the page it will do it. But when I actually do something when the user clicks on the thing otherwise it's kind of pointless. So we're going to grab an area that we can click or do something to and I'm just going to grab a block level element I'm going to say something in the sidebar left. So let's inspect the left sidebar and find a block level element in there. So if we look, we've got this ID block user one. It's also got a class, but it doesn't tend to work as well. So w when we click on anywhere in this div, then do something. So we're going to grab that into entire selector. We're going to put it after the um, 
thing has hidden. And it's an ID, so we're gonna do that. And now we need to select the action. So I'm gonna say hover. And we're gonna do a function. On at the moment, that will just do whatever we want to do when we roll off it. So we're going to do a callback function. So we're going to say function, and we're going to say what what we're going to do when. It, it, of us and what what we're gonna do when it works. Um Um so we we're again gonna use the same selector. both times but instead we're going to do a different action we're going to show it and this time I want to do a pa parameter so in the brackets I'm going to put slow so do it slowly and then when the user rolls off, hide it again. And I'm also going to set that to slow. Console. Log. And in this case, our console is Firebug. And I want to say logo hidden. So we're going to do two things in that function. And we can do whatever we want in jQuery as long as we know what the selector is which is why you need firebug and inside that function we are just gonna put another console but log but this time we're gonna say logo displayed so it should hide the um thing and then when we roll over the user block which is in my case is this block here then show it and then do the hover um callback So, once that entire thing saved, I'm going to refresh, and now we see that our, our thing's hidden. Um, and, um, just to say 
thing. Um, we we see that if we if we look at the HTML, a a script file has been included: the garland script.js and also jQuery. So let's refresh. It's hidden. When we hover, it shows. When we take our mouse off, it hides again. So that was just really simple uh, jQuery um, integration with Drupal. And you've seen how easy that is. So thanks for watching this video, guys.